All right, veggies are in. Uh -huh. And now we're adding some butter. It says two tablespoons. That might be four. I don't know. I don't think that's four, really. <laughs> hey guys, I was just looking at our Christmas tree and I realized one thing. It doesn't have its skirt on yet. Yes, these are my pajamas. I was gonna take my shower and then I just kinda wanna finish the house off with all of this Christmas stuff. I don't even know if I love the color of this tree skirt. Like, does it go? You'll never know until you try it, so let's, let's give it a whirl. And one more thing, I just remembered this window right here. Okay, so before we moved in here, the last tenants had the window open during a windstorm and then it swung shut it cracked and then since we moved in we just haven't fixed it yet but we've had it measured to be replaced the guy apparently is coming next week and something else i didn't know about tree skirts they're really expensive remind me to look after christmas for like some super bargain deal okay there it is it's teeny tiny we bought a small one for a small tree so it wasn't like covering our entire living room ow guys think? Does it go? I don't think it looks bad. And I already showed you our awesome mailbox that we bought. I showed this to you on the day that we put up our tree. I just love it. I think it is just so festive. And then I also put this out and I've had that for about a year now and I hadn't used it until like two days ago when I just added it to our living room. And we just stuck a candle that we already had in there, but I think it's a little bit too short. So I'm probably gonna buy a taller red one. And Frosty's still taking over the couch, but I just leave him there because I think he looks adorable. And on our side table here, I have this tree. Let me just plug it in or turn it on. It has some lights that I strung on here the other day, although I have to redo them because uh, it doesn't cover it fully. And then I have my nutcracker. And this is what I like to call the ugly Santa. And every household has an ugly Santa. My parents do, they've had it for years. And I think it's just the best because they still have it. They haven't gotten rid of it. And so I thought we would start our own little tradition. It even has the year on it, which is so perfect. We got it from Michael's. I feel bad even saying it's ugly. It's not ugly at all, but it's just one of those ornaments that are like, mm. I could have probably lived without it, but we got it because if you spend a certain amount of money, you got it for free, so that's where he came from. And then we also have this beautiful sequin deer that I've had for a few years. I just love him. And by the way, check out the fog again today. Ever since I woke up, this is what it's looked like. Oh, okay, this is so special to me. Let's go sit down, I'm gonna show it to you. My mom, last year, bought this ornament for Andy and I. It's from Nordstrom, and she bought it the day that I bought my wedding dress. She bought it for our first Christmas. <laughs> this is honest, this is so special, I could just cry right now. Like, look at how adorable they are. There's Andy, and there's me. I don't know if they got the coloring right, but good enough. I will definitely wait until Andy gets home so that we can put those up on the tree. And I think what I wanna do is take like a Sharpie and write on the bottom of the ornaments, like all the ones that we purchased over the years, uh, I'll write the year underneath there so I always remember them. Oh! <laughs> Andy and I bought this last year too when we went to Disneyland. We bought this knowing it was gonna be our first ornament that we bought for our new tree. So crazy, and this was my first trip to Disneyland too, so we had to get a keepsake, so we thought we'd buy an ornament. Ooh, my pine cones. I made these one year, like I did a DIY at home, and they turned out so good. I need to find a home for these. Oh, I think I know. I have this tray that I bought from HomeSense years ago, and you can use it for like jewelry or perfume and I did like I used to have I think my perfumes on here or like some of my makeup but now in our bedroom I have it up here on our dresser I think that looks pretty cute oh gosh don't look at our pantry don't look at our pantry but I was just reminded of that wreath when I was walking by I gotta hang this I need some WD-40 my mom bought this for me this year. Whoa! What is that? My fridge is making noise. Oh my 
my gosh, my house. I love these little guys. You know, like those little Christmas houses that you can set up. I think, I, yeah, I have two. Where the heck am I gonna put these? I feel like by the end of this, it's just gonna be Christmas overkill in here, but I love it. Is it cute or is it overkill? I'll tell you one thing, those cords are kind of driving me nuts. Okay, I need to figure this area out. I bought this from Costco maybe two months ago and I haven't used it yet. And it smells like holidays, it smells like cinnamon. Hello? Hey. Hi. Decorating. Ooh, the house? Yeah. than I thought but it's nice that the whole house is all set up except for those ornaments that we'll probably add a little bit later at home we still need a tree or an angel for the tree or a star are you ready to see our house all decorated whoa it's Christmas in here oh you put little houses there too oh and you put the tree skirt on yeah oh it's perfect it's like the right size it's a small one too well good you're not upset I did it without you we'll talk about that on camera. <laughs> Okay, so everybody has been asking to see a cooking video from Andy and we had this butternut squash to use up So he just cut into it to make sure it was good yeah, and it is. I guess we're making some butternut squash soup. This is what we ate in our Halloween vlog I just realized they probably can't hear because of the heat. Listen to the difference this makes <laughs> It sounds like stranger things <laughs> It does. So basically all we've done so far is cut the butternut squash and de-seeded it. Yep, and I'm just peeling it away. Oh, I like to roast my squash for that butternut squash soup. I just think it gives it a more, a little more richer flavor. They get a nice sweetness there and you get more of the flavor comes out when you cook them. Because so we don't add any sugar in this recipe and there's no cream in this recipe either. So it's kind of, it's truly vegetarian. Do you guys watch Snoop and Martha? When I first saw that show, Pot I thought- dinner party. <laughs> Pot <-luck> dinner party. <laughs> when I first saw that show, I thought it was completely ridiculous. And I was like, how does this even exist? How do they have their own show? Who watches this? Since then, we've PBR'd a few of them. It's pretty great. So we are preparing the pan. This is making me really hungry. A little bit of olive oil. Kosher salt. No name brand. <laughs> Now he's adding a little pepper. Get the oven to a nice 425 degrees. You want it nice and hot. And we're just gonna roast this guy in there. Came out to grab a few things from the grocery store because it turns out we didn't have everything and it is so cold again. We're back in the same place where that huge Christmas tree was the other night. Still beautiful as ever. That's it? That's it. Two more things, two more things. Literally just one stalk of celery. That's all the recipe needs. <laughs> Alright, let's go get some bread. Jalapeno potash again. That's good, but there's so much in there and it just makes me want to eat it all. Back home, back in the kitchen. Oven's back on. Oven's back on. We had to leave because uh, we were missing carrots. Uh, that one, one stalk of celery and two potatoes. So we grab those. Oh, and we also got bread, of course. All right, veggies are in. Mm -hmm. And now we're adding some butter. This is two tablespoons. That might be four. I don't know. I don't think that's four, really. <laughs> it's probably like four. 
one of the three. So we got everything in, roughly chopped veggies. They don't have to be perfect. Look at the size of the potatoes and the celery smaller, because we're gonna blend it all. It's done anyways. Nicely roasted for about five minutes. Got a little more color on them than I wanted, but that's okay. <laughs> in other words, he's trying to say he almost burnt them. Almost. Now we'll just add that to the rest of our stuff. So, we got the squash in there now. And then you're gonna add a cold thing of chicken stock. You can use veggie broth as well, but I like using chicken stock. I like the flavor bit. Taste it for a little bit of salt and pepper now, but I like to do that after it boils a little bit. But you want to do it before you puree it because once you puree it, you can't really add salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. So we'll just add a little bit right now and then a little more at the end. Now we're going to bring this to a boil and then let it simmer. How long? 40 minutes. Now for the best part, we're Andy, not me, we're Andy's going to blend it. You could also take it out and put it into a regular blender if you have like a Vitamix or a blender like that too. But this just means we can do it right in the pot. Dinner is done. I'm standing here like taking credit for all I can <laughs> Chargers look with the soup on it. This is so festive. It just worked out so well. Mm.